Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca playlist and today we are going to talk about another authentication type which is digest authentication. Now this authentication mechanism may be used with some API messages or requests and you need to make sure that you are using uh, the correct authentication type for your API message before you send them, right? Now in the previous session, we already looked at how you can use the basic authentication using a simple username and password. So if you have not watched, the video URL is on the top. So go ahead and watch that before you start watching this particular video, which is the next authentication type, which is digest authentication, okay? So before we get into digest authentication, uh, let's first understand what's the difference between basic authentication and digest authentication. Because uh, on the front end, when I use this particular uh, API message, you will not see any difference, which I mean is I'll be sending this request with another username and password. But as I said, there will be no difference because in basic auth also we send a an username and password. And in the digest auth also, we are sending a username and password. But the difference is digest authentication is much more, uh, you can say advanced authentication type, okay? Rather than just sending the username and password, internally, a lot of other things happen okay so let's try and understand this little better with this particular um, diagram okay and here you can see that there are multiple requests and responses which are coming and going back instead of just uh, one request and response in the case of basic authentication right where you send a get request with a particular username and password and the server uh, authorizes that request and sends back the response okay but that's not the case with digest auth so in this particular authentication mechanism right what happens is when we send a particular get request from any http client right like our tosca in this case okay so the server will respond back with a 401 unauthorized okay but uh, even if it is 401 unauthorized in the header we get some authentication information okay so which is the www uh, authenticate okay this will be the header name and then inside this you will find uh, two values which is um, a realm and nonce values which will be used uh, to hash the subsequent requests okay so uh, a hashing uh, mechanism is applied to protect uh, the particular request which is being sent to the server and which will be authenticated using a particular username and password and so in the next request uh, which will be sent by the client it will include this authorization header with the information which was sent by the server which was this ww authenticate header okay so uh, when we send this uh, hashed information from the client to the server then the server can um, authorize this particular request and it will send back um, a 200 okay response with the particular response payload okay so instead of just two uh, or request and response there are four okay so there are two requests and two responses coming back from the server okay and that's the difference between basic authentication and digest authentication but as I said, you will not see any difference in the front end on the HTTP client side because internally Tosca is uh, able to do all of this for you. Okay. So now uh, let's go back and let's try to use uh, or create another API message where we can use this digest authentication. Right. So I'm going to create a new message here and I'm going to call it digest okay and here again in the endpoint uh, i'm going to use a particular endpoint right and for this i'm going to use um a api which is available with tosca okay uh, one of the sample apis which is the secure employee version 2 okay uh, and this is protected by digest authentication right so it's webservice.tosca.cloud.com best API secure employee version two. Okay. 
now if i just send this particular request without any authentication obviously we are going to get 401 on authorized right but uh, if i go back to my request and i now select uh, digest authentication and for this i'm going to pass the username and password okay and then i'm going to send this particular request okay and this time around you will see that we got a status code 200 okay okay with the particular payload which is the employee information okay but uh, as i said internally tosca is sending two requests but you cannot see that uh, in here okay so that's how you use uh, the digest authentication for any particular api requests which are protected by this particular mechanism okay so this was all for this particular video where uh, we looked at the digest authentication type okay there are many other authentication types which we may look in our other sessions but hopefully this was helpful for you and helped you learning something new so do tune into our channel uh, to watch more interesting videos on api testing um, with tosca and we'll also keep adding more videos on other topics if you have any topic in your mind then do share it in the comment section and we'll pick up that particular topic for learning tosca also if you have not subscribed please do subscribe so that you get a notification whenever a new video is added uh, related to tosca and this will help you to keep learning tosca um, in a continuous manner so thank you for watching and until the next video keep watching and keep learning tosca